Russia's parliament passes law banning LGBT propaganda among adults. Here's a summary of the article. We process your data to deliver content or advertisements and measure the delivery of such content or advertisements to extract insights about our website. Your device can receive and send information that allows you to see and interact with ads and content. Personalized ads and content, ad and content measurement, audience insights and product development. Personalized ads can be shown to you based on a profile about you. A profile can be built about you and your interests to show you personalized content that is relevant to you. Personalized content can be shown to you based on a profile about you. Ads can be shown to you based on the content you're viewing, the app you're using, your approximate location, or your device type. This post received a score of 10,000, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Mr. President, our people are unhappy due to the economic sanctions and our men being sent to war. Hmm. Then just persecute LGBT people, that will please them. You joke about this, but this is actually a valid strategy. Marginalize minorities and make sure the anger flows down, not up. Fascism 101. Republicanism 101. Yeah, that's what he said. You guys stop. I can only upvote so many comments in a row. If you've been upvoting for four hours or longer you should really get to a hospital. It's okay, you're my stepmom. We're not actually related. Okay just to be clear you all. This is not just about putting LGBT people into jail. It's much bigger and darker than that. This is about putting anyone they want into jail. Homosexuality is the easiest of tags to place onto anyone they want to have disappeared. Gay myself and too often see heterosexual people not realize this is also about controlling them too. Since you don't want to be arrested if any of those mean being perceived as gay. Since everything opposite to that will be suspicious. Homophobes really just open doors for authoritarians to control their entire population's life. This is what I keep telling people about regarding a bill recently introduced by the Texas GOP state representative from Frisco. It defines drag show so loosely that it easily allows interpretations like a street performance by a woman with pants and short hair is a drag show. Emphasis mine, Texas HB 708, YAL. For additional emphasis, while it says drag performance, they aren't describing drag. So expect it to get weaponized against cis performers as well. It should, in theory, go nowhere. But punishing any venue for its moral failings is the point of the exercise. It doesn't need to survive its day in court against any given venue fighting back. To be clear, I'm saying that they're going to allege the performers are drag when they actually mean transgender, and whether or not the performers are transgender or drag at all isn't really the point. Punishing the performers and venue is. They just want a pretense to persecute LGBT. They might as well call it the randomly put gays in jail act. More like randomly accuse people of being gay and then put them in jail with no proof act. That's very ruse of them. Greater than randomly accuse people of not hating gay people enough and then put them in jail. Saying being gay is okay makes you guilty under this law. The thing is you don't even need to say it. They just say you said that. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.